Hello all and welcome to a scrapping and casting video. During my work I go to people's uh, homes and I fix appliances, washing machines, dishwashers, uh, dryers, uh, microwave ovens, uh, cooking hobs, extraction hoods, stuff like that. Um, I sometimes come across people that have all kinds of crap in their yard or in their shed and I tell them about my metal casting and that I like to take apart all kinds of stuff. So one customer uh, had a huge pile and gave me this thing. It comes with a bunch of wires and some connectors and um, I think it used to uh, pump water um, judging by the, the fittings uh, on here and there. Let's see how much I can get out of this. Yeah. Cast aluminium. I think this might be brass. Now that's some huge ass brass pins. Anybody home? Probably vacated the premises long ago. I hope so. Solid core wire. Strip that later. I'll break this open later. Dang it. This will not work. Oh, it will. This will need to be smashed to get out this brass. Yeah. That doesn't sound quite right. They said it would probably still work. I doubt it. So let's see. This is brass. This is not. This is magnetic. This is magnetic, so I don't have to take this off and this off, I only have to take this off. This is magnetic, that is magnetic. I do have to take this apart if I want to get the motor out, obviously. Uh, let's see, what we got here. This is not magnetic, this is not, this is not. This is. And this is not. Alright, so... Brass, steel, brass, 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 steel, 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 brass, steel, aluminium, aluminium, of course the bolts are going to be steel. Never actually weighed the thing, let's see. There we go. 25 and a quarter kilogram for the whole thing. So, let's... 24.95 so basically 25 kilograms that'd be about 55 pounds mm. 
Yeah, right. That was gonna work. Oh! Wow, there's movement. Not in the place I expected it, but there is at least. Wait a minute. This thing's plastic, god damn it. Yes. Now that does sound brass. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Oh wow. <laughs> I was in there like one millimeter less maybe oh more brass i guess that's all the brass bits off easy peasy ew bugger Not magnetic. What would this be? Stainless? Also not magnetic. Round and round we go. Oh, 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 look at this. There we go. It was easier than I thought. Oh my god, it's dry. Actual copper. So that's good.
All right, everything cut to pieces, all wire stripped, everything separated. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Copper, brass, aluminium, shred steel. Well, by weight it's going to be shred steel because obviously this stuff is going to have the most weight. This is all the screws and uh, little uh, steel bits that came out. By weight, of course, aluminium is going to lose because it's the lightest stuff there. By volume, um, it might actually be more than the copper. Um, brass is the big winner for me because I didn't expect these parts to be brass. This is all the um, uh, braided wire that was in there. Everything is uh, either nickel or tin coated. Now this I will not be mixing in with my clean copper. Well, it's not clean, it has lacquer on it, but the lacquer will burn off. The tin or nickel coating will um, alloy in with the metal and that's not what we want. So this is the only bit that I will not be adding to the mixture. And then of course there was all the plastic and, and all the stripped wire and gunk. And by weight this is actually not that much. Right, all the steel. 20, gra 20 grams, yeah, 20 kilograms, exactly. All the little plastic totes, what's that going to be? That, that'll probably be 0 0.5. Cast aluminium. That's not going to amount to much. One kilogram, 350 grams. Three oh five. So minus the plastic tub, three kilograms of brass. Let's see about the copper. Most of this is in one piece. One point four kilograms. All right, ready to melt. Aluminium first, then brass, then copper. I recently got some new ingot molds. I always used to use my cast iron ingot molds for making ingots. Uh, they work fine. But I've visited one of my YouTube friends, all handmade, Guido. He lives in uh, Germany, just over the border from the Netherlands. So it was about a, I don't know, 90 minute drive for me. And I, I visited him and he had made for me a couple of steel molds. Pretty cool. Very thick walled. Two of them. And he made me a little extra one. Little flat ingots. So uh, the ones I make in this will fit in my electric furnace. The ones I make in those will not. Now, I could always uh, put them in my bigger furnace uh, if I want to remelt them. Or cut them in half, I don't know. It was great stuff. Uh, I had a good time over at, uh, at Guido's. Uh, well, I was only there for like an afternoon. But we had a good talk and we were talking about YouTube and Ian Matthews, of course. And uh, about uh, all his art, admiring all his artwork, his house is filled with it. You can clearly tell this is a man who uh, who has an eye for detail and is very skilled uh, in welding, crafting. And he also does some casting. Check out All Handmade. If you see this logo, you know you're in the right place. So yeah, thank you for the sticker, Guido. Thank you for the molds. I will be using them uh, a lot. And I will probably do a lot of aluminium in these because uh, that will probably be molten down in my bigger furnace. Um, maybe even my new furnace that I want to build. And um, I'm just going to use these for uh, for, the mo uh, for the ingots for my uh, little electric furnace over here. So yes, let me set up for melting the aluminium. This does not fit the crucible, so I'm going to have to need to mash this into little pieces. It's hammer time. This part I had to cut with an angle grinder to fit the crucible. It's the only downside to one of these electric furnaces. You have to 
cut piece is way smaller than uh, for a big furnace where you have a crucible that's this big usually but then again I usually do small castings so I only need a little bit of metal right let's fill the crucible And now we wait. All right, quite some slag or dross. Let's see what we can make here. Maybe even two. Or maybe not. Very nice. And it just started raining outside. I can put the ingots outside to cool off. Yeah, too wet outside. Why are you coming in here? Stay in the living room. Yeah. Yeah. Pepe. In desperate need of a wash and a haircut. Next week, I think, is uh, going to the doggy uh, barber or doggy hairdresser, whatchamacallit. Yes. Good girl. Peppy. Yeah. Back. Rain. That's one way to quench your ingots. So 
so much for all the aluminium next up brass no worries brass arena can watch put you here already looks a bit better starting to look yellow again let's make some of the smaller ones Two in one go. Now for all the copper. For this I'll be using a new crucible. Let's see if I can uh, Twist these up into little manageable pieces and fill a crucible. I might have to put on some gloves for this because sharp ends and stuff. Alright, get a nice bundle crammed in there. Not too tight because don't want it to expand and crack the crucible. Should be, uh, should be good to start with and I'll add the rest when this is molten. That goes in there. That is actually the whole thing. And a whole lot of gunk. Yeah, just about everything. One go. 
Not bad. So here is everything that I got out of this motor. Uh, I think uh, brass is the winner. Second is aluminium. Now, there is quite a bit of dross left. This stuff practically weighs nothing, so it's just foamy, bubbly stuff. Uh, brass, I have a couple of somewhat useful pieces and a whole lot of uh, little uh, slag, as they call it, or dross, whatever. All the draws I just keep separate and at some point when I have a lot I'll just make a couple of more bars. And the copper came out nicest of course because we love copper. Came out really nice, the nice ripple effect on there. Shame about the little splatter at the end but still, still pretty good. There was a lot of uh, little, well, I would almost say beads, beads of copper in between all the uh, burnt off uh, lacquer. That was really nasty. And there was a piece left in the, in the crucible, which kind of looks like, I don't know, superhero cape or a, a moth. And uh, it was actually on the pouring part. So now you can hang it somewhere. Make it look like a copper moth. Maybe I should polish the thing. I don't know. Let's... Uh, weigh all this up and see if we get anywhere near the original weights start with the aluminium almost half a kilogram five grams off so 12.99 so basically we lost about 40 grams. I doubt this is useful to try to melt again because it weighs practically nothing. I'll, I'll just toss this in with my uh, uh, cast aluminium to turn in the, uh, the scrap yard. Wow, one and a half kilograms, slightly over. So basically half a kilogram and a bit. And another 600 grams-ish. Seventy-seven grams are vanished, and uh, there's going to be a bit of this uh, dross to remelt at some point. Right, copper. Let's see what this weighs. Eleven fifty-five. Thirteen fifteen. So we were at thirteen ninety five. So we lost eighty grams. I think I weighed the nickel coated copper uh, as well uh, initially, and I didn't weigh it now. So that might as well have been eighty grams. I'm not going to dig those out because I have no idea where they went. But yeah, this is a pretty decent yield on all this.
So here we are at the end of this video. This is what came out of uh, this motor, the Foras KM300T electro pump. No idea where the thing came from, it was given to me and now I have a nice pile of ingots. Hope you enjoyed the show. Brasserina enjoyed watching. This was the last time she will be here. She is going to Everyday Solos because I promised her. Thank you Guido for these awesome molds. I will be using these a lot. For anyone who doesn't know Guido yet, check out All Handmade. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.